Hello, I'm Cookie Masterson, and I found this kazoo in the trash. <laughs> Listen, don't worry. I find that most people enjoy playing alone. I do, actually. And today's wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... Peeping Todd's Pervert Supplies. Get out of the bushes and into our store. Become a member today and we'll whack off an additional 10%. Pick the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to win a fabulous prize and big cash. If you say so. Okay, let's not waste any more time. Get ready to the question. To begin with, birds of a feather do hip-hop dancing together. Which contestant would you not see on the talent show America's Got Talons? A singing condor, a dancing owl, a juggling falcon, or a whistling crane? Dang it. I just, just did this question. I don't remember the answer. Condors, owls, and falcons are go. all birds of prey and have talons, but a crane does not. Why do I have a feeling that Howard Stern's opinion on this show would always be supported by Robbins? <laughs> and now, I was lost, but now I'm drunk. And it's time to pour a dis or dat. For the bat, bing, ba, bing, boom. I'm going to read off seven things, and for each one, you tell me if it's a book by evangelist Billy Graham or... A Guinness advertising slogan. If it's Billy Graham, press the left arrow. If it's Guinness, press the right arrow. Cool, and let's do both? it. Both? No, I'm kidding. Out of the darkness comes light. Hope for each day. The secret of happiness. Answers to light. Oh. The most natural. Believe. How to be born again. Not bad, but you were a little tipsy. Tipsy. I had a religious experience after drinking some Guinness. Although once you've drunkenly interrupted a baptism, there aren't many churches that'll let you in after that. I wonder if any church would actually let you in after that. Here we have every quest you take. What do the police and Frodo Baggins have in common? Both fought over a ring, both... Sting is the lead singer of the police, and also the name of the sword Frodo carries with him. Yep. Both can also really shred a mandolin. <laughs> I'd like to see them both, like, shred the chandelier, like, to sing... May no, I introduce... Do you smell what I smell? Okay, so... Oh, sorry. We've, we've got all this garbage in here, and the smell almost made me puke on my microphone. Okay, what do we have here? There's a lot of soft felt, and there's a Pizzelle, a Biz Cachito, and a Florentine. Whose trash is this? Kermit the Frogs, Big Bird... Hmm. These are these are all types of cookies from around the world. So yeah, this is up. Uh, this is Cookie Monster's trash. Bing. Throw in some used candles and a Nicholas Sparks book ruined by tears, and this isn't much different than my trash. <laughs> yeah, cause like yeah, fortune cookies. No, not anymore. This one's known as "You're Not the Cake Boss of Me." If the cake boss were commissioned to bake the cake that Alice ate in Alice in Wonderland, what instructions would he have? It needs to make her... After Alice drinks the potion that makes her tiny, she eats the cake that makes her become huge. Can you imagine getting huge from eating cake? That Lewis Carroll had one wild imagination. We finished round one, and surprisingly, you're doing pretty well. I know, Don't right? In round two, all the cash is doubled. And remember, keep an eye out for the wrong answer of the game. It's still out there. Let's see what's in store. Help me. I'll 
save you. Have some six. Here's one for you. Air she blows. There's so many sub shops now. Subway, Quiznos, Jimmy John's, that nice restaurant inside Target. But my personal favorite is Blimpy because it's just fun to say. Blimpy! Blimpy! <laughs> anyway, Blimpy. <laughs> if eating a Blimpy sub gave you the same kind of gas that is used to fill a modern day blimp, what would you have? A hydrogen? Yep, these days, blimps like the Goodyear blimp are just filled with helium like regular balloons. Bing. Now, imagine eating a Subway sub gave you the same kind of gas you usually smell when you're on a subway. I had this one's called Wild Times in My Mouth. Which of these is not a candy bear? A gummy grizzly? A red licorice red panda? A Ready for this? A red panda is not a bear. It's actually closer to a raccoon. <coughs> Great! So I've been taking sexy photos on raccoon skin rugs? Yeah, no, I'm afraid you're in peep trouble. But... Which is why you're lucky to have won... This giant shrub costume with built-in binoculars from Peeping Todd's Pervert Supplies. Keep your hands where no one can see them. This wrong answer of the game comes with a bundle of cash worth $8,000. Congratulations. Just think, if you're really creepy, you could use that to go get a face cam of your favorite YouTuber without actually needing to have a face cam on the video. Take a good look at... You're wearing the hell out of that harpsichord. I know you can't see me right now, but I just want you to know that I'm wearing my piano key necktie today, and I have to say, I'm looking pretty damn sharp. But tell me this. If it worked like a real piano, what sharp key on my sharp-looking piano key necktie is basically the same key as a B-flat? A-sharp, B-sharp. To play an A-sharp, you hit the same key as when you play a B-flat. It's the black key between an A and a B. Nice. But I'd rather just play some bluegrass on my banjo underpants. Oh god, oh god, that was a terrible idea. <laughs> Nine! Almost done. Buck her up for... She said what? You know how people like to say that's what she said? Well, which of these is actually what a she said? Parting is such a... This line is delivered by Juliet in Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. The rest are all said by dudes. <laughs> wow, Shakespeare quotes. That was a hard one. That's, That's what, what she said. said. Get back to work! I've never seen my score this high before. It's amazing. Try this on for size. Ye heavy metal music of old. Suppose you're at a geological timeline music festival, which sounds amazing. What band should immediately follow the Queens of the Stone Age? The Princes... The Stone Age was followed by the Bronze Age. The Princes of the Bronze Age isn't a very good live band. They make too many eras. <laughs> and now it's time to lose all the money I earned. Welcome to the attack. I'm sorry, was I talking too much? Fine, here's your clue. No thanks for the memories. Who's having some memory problems? Good luck. Born identity is Jason Born. The Muppets take Manhattan is... They mix it up, I think, this time. Or did I mix this up this time? Nope, it's right there. Kermit the Frog. Spider-Man 3. Ooh. Not Sandman, I know that much. Ah! Oh well. Memento! Nope. 
Okay. Finding Nemo! This one's easy, at least it's, uh, gory. Don't mess this one up. Boop! Next! Yes, it's totally absent my professor. Nope, okay. Ah. The hangover. <coughs> not boring, not boring, not this more, not this more, not the wolf pack, not the wolf pack, not the absent professor. Are we done? There we go. There it is! Enjoy those high numbers. I've been having some short-term memory problems lately, but that won't stop us from having a great round of You Don't Know Jack. Okay, first question. Birds of a feather do hip-hop dancing together. You Don't Know Jack! Happy April Fool's Day, everyone. La 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 la, cookie world. La 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 la, la 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 la, cookie world.